166 kilogram featherweight contest, three, three minute rounds. And now, fighting out of the blue corner and fighting out of the FF gym, Manchester Adam Walsh. And now, fighting out of the red corner and fighting out of SBG gym, Manchester Manny. Japan. Your referee for this one is Aaron Wilkinson. Let's follow the game and get it on. Steve Kirk Abbott and Brad Wharton here for this featherweight contest here at the Fight Festival. Adam Walsh in the blue corner, the black armor shorts. Five and one and one, fighting out of the Fighting Fit Gym in Manchester, taking on SPG UK's Manny Akpan. These are two top 15 ranked amateurs, real close to each other. This should be a war. Absolutely, it should. We're going to the business end of the amateur card now. Beautiful stuff from Manny Akpan to kick the lead leg out. But Adam Walsh diving right on that takedown and takes the SPG mainline man down. Yeah, Akpan trying to use the butterflies there to, to get up, but Walsh stands sticky. I remember having a conversation some years ago with the late, great Carl Tanswell, and he told me, keep an eye on Manny Akpan. And uh, as usual, when it comes to these things, Carl was right on the money. Absolutely right. It's been a little while since Manny's uh, competed in the cage. We're looking at almost a year, and he's coming. He's not coming into an easy fight. This is <laughs> this is going to be this is going to be a barn burner, Brad. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, he's five and two. He shouldn't be coming into an easy fight. So great matchmaking here from Carl Prince uh, here at Fight Festival. Adam Walsh five one and a no contest, I believe, on his yep. record as well. Oh, beautiful lateral drop attempt, didn't quite get it, and Akpan ends up in top position. Walsh scrambles beautifully straight back to his feet, taking a few knees there. Yeah, and Walsh, all of Walsh's wins come within the first round. All five of them are first round finishes. That, that could tell us two stories, Steve. You know, either he's got this incredible knack for finishing, or he may end up in deep waters. If this goes out of the first round, we'll have to wait and see on that one. This is the Manny Akpan I'm used to seeing, using those pushing sidekicks to keep his man at range. Really telegraph that entry there. He's going to have to do a lot better than that. And he's throwing, throwing some fastball right hand, Steve. Yeah, but it, then drop, drop levels almost immediately uh, and a beautiful takedown to follow. So sloppy technique followed by a <laughs> really quite wonderful. Yeah, interesting to see Akpan throwing these, uh, you know, these big heaters. I'm, I'm not sure why he's been out of the cage for Almost here, I don't know if it was injury or if he's just not been training. Uh, you know, what kind of condition is he going to be in? We're, we're about to find out. Absolutely. Right now, he's in good enough condition to land some heavy shots from the top. Very fluid striker oh. is Akpan. But he's reversed here on the ground. Adam Walsh not here to make up the numbers. And Walsh, again, on the ground, we talked about the fact that he finished all of them. All of his fights come by first round submission. All of those wins. So he, you would expect him to want to work to get it back down there. Yeah, you're going to believe either of these guys in the win here tonight is going to be looking to, uh, to pick up an amateur featherweight title in the next contest before the year's out. Oh, you would have thought so for sure. So many great shows up in the north of England at the moment. Plenty of titles to be had. Plenty of talent. It's a challenge for them. Adam Walsh looking for that single leg takedown, trying to rip his mouth to the cage. Beautiful switch from Manny Akpan. Yeah. But Walsh. Ends up on bottom, but that technique and the speed at which he applied it was incredible. Yeah, Walsh just stayed sticky to him, stayed in that guard. Well, an entertaining first round. We got two more of these bad boys. I, 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 I expect the pace will pick up over the next couple of rounds, Brad. Yeah, I, I really, both these guys are finishes, but I really hope we do get to see another two rounds of this. We said that we're uh, approaching the business end of the amateur card, and they're certainly not letting us down. Absolutely not. Matt Inman, Abdul Chowdhury, Tim Elliott in the corner, Manny Akpan giving advice. It'll be interesting to see how Akpan comes out in the second round, if he looks to throw those big fastball overhand punches again, or he goes back to the Manny Akpan of old and gets the kicks moving, gets the bounce on his step. I think for Adam Walsh, he's going to want to rush his man, close that distance, make this a tough, gritty, grimy, messy fight. Absolutely. 
Referee Aaron Wilkinson about to get this one underway. Second of three three-minute rounds if they need them in the amateur featherweight division here at Fight Festival. Here we go. Walsh taking the center of the cage. Jack Pan keeping those feet moving. <laughs> Sudden with that spinning back fist there was Jack Pan. Tried again, went to the well maybe one too many times. He allowed Walsh in, get that body lock, and is now trying to work Manny up against the cage. Yeah, that was kind of more like the Manny Jack Pan we're used to seeing with those flashy, unorthodox techniques. High risk, though, you do risk giving up the clinch, and that's exactly what Adam Walsh is taking advantage of here, Steve. Absolutely. Pressuring Manny against the cage, throwing those chipping knees into the lower thigh and knees of Manny Akpan. And again, taking away, taking away some of Manny's strengths, that kicking game, hard to kick from two feet or two, two inches away. Absolutely. No knees to the head. And referee calling for separation there. Going to restart them on their feet. Maybe wanted a little more action in, in the pressure against the cage. Yeah, we're dealing with three three-minute rounds here, so you will see referees restart fighters. Oh, Manny Atpan got stung there. Yeah. Let's uh. see if he can get his feet back underneath him. And beautiful sprawl with the underhook on the left-hand oh. side. Lateral drop takedown from Adam Walsh. And in the side control. Well, Hasn't been, haven't had this position much tonight, so I'm, I'm going to call for it, Brad. I want the knees to the body, but he's going to step over instead. Yeah, looking to step over. <laughs> Acknowledging that. Steve. Acknowledging my commentary, sorry. We'll let them crack on here at okay, so. case. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, as we were saying, Steve, just a three, three minute round here, so you will see the referees call for action and, uh, and break fire to stand them up if there isn't action. A little bit sooner than you will with the pros. Akpan in a bad position here. He's retained half guard, though. Yeah, rolled, rolled well to get the half guard back. But, but Walsh is more than comfortable here. Yeah, you've got to believe he's going to be happy to grind the clock down, just put points on the board. Short, irritating shots more than anything else until he can get into mount or side control and land something of more substance. Akpan, great work, though. He's left his neck oh. in. A mounted guillotine here from Adam Walsh, can't oh. see how tight that is. It's well, looking pretty by tight. The, by the squee, oh, Nyak, it's a bit. Akpan did well to survive that. Walsh just not having the, the angle required. It's a very, very rare submission to see in mixed martial arts. That mounted guillotine, so difficult to get the right angle and the crank on it. But Akpan needs to be careful here. He doesn't take any more big shots. You've got to believe this is Walsh's round by some margin, Steve. Absolutely, Walsh, worse. Working really hard to control this round, and you can tell you you can see the experience in, in these guys. The fact that he doesn't rush, he doesn't. Excellent, excellent two rounds so far from Adam Walsh, though. A bit of gamesmanship possibly from Adam Walsh there. He, he lifted Manny Akpan up and almost put him back in his corner, and you know as if to say, "Okay, son, there you go. I'll see you in a minute's time for some more." And if you look at the body language here, it has to be said, it's favoring Walsh. We saw my him in there almost lift Manny Akpan up and say, hang on, you got another three minutes, you can still win this fight. We know Akpan's got power, we know he's got flash, style and pizzazz. You wouldn't put it past him to pull out a one hit a quitter and put pay to Adam Walsh's night. Walsh has to be wary of that, as confident as he may be at this stage, Steve. Absolutely, but, but again, Having those, having that six-fight experience, I can't, I can't see Walsh becoming cocky in there. Akpan's going to have to take this fight. I don't believe Walsh will give it to him. It's actually the eighth fight for both these guys, Steve. Five, one, and one against five and two, so a fair amount of amateur experience. And both guys have fought decent opponents as well. Absolutely, they've not gone out there and fought seven bums. Well, right, here we go. And certainly, neither man finding a bum tonight. See that, the same uh, starting sequence from Akpan there as we saw at the start of the fight, looking to kick the lead leg out. Good work from Adam Walsh though to keep switching the stance up. Yeah, he's recognized it and then in on the double and gets under the hips straight away. You're not gonna get much smoother an entry than that, Steve. Change levels perfectly. Akpan did a good job there to get his butt to the cage. He used his back on the fence to walk back to his feet 
but he's still in a precarious position here. He's got Walsh behind him. Walsh will look to spin off the cage now and rag his man down. Yeah, they're trying to wrap that leg up as well, perhaps. The base of Akkan. Oh, he's just walking to the back. Yeah, good work there to stay behind you, man. And he's got options here. He can grind him against the cage. He can make Akpan carry his weight. He can drop these knees in. Or he can pull away and look for the takedown. Yeah, right now Walsh just happy to be controlling the pace and the tempo of this fight. Frustrating Akpan. First round much closer than the second, but you've got to believe that Akpan needs a finish here, Steve. I'm absolutely with you on that, Brad. Still working hard, trying to... Trying to get some the, distance. Yeah, looking for the takedown there. A nice right hand from Akpan on the break. And another. Bombing that right hand in. Nice sprawl from Akpan that time. Goes for some body shots. Really is leaving it all in the cage is the man from SBG Manchester. Absolutely. Great work there from Adam Walsh. Actually grabbed the hand of Akpan to stop him blocking the shots. Almost dragging down, flying knee. Caught by Akpan, oh. who bombs in with more big right hands. We've got ourselves a fight here in the third round, Steve. Absolutely, and Walsh now again, though, taking the pace away from it. Whenever it seems Akpan is just starting to find a rhythm, Walsh changes the tune. Walsh knows that he doesn't need to go out there and demolish Manny Akpan in this round. He just needs to stop himself getting finished. And he's doing a good job of that. He's grinding on his man at every opportunity. He's running that clock down. Just under a minute to go, 45 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and the impetus has to all be on Akpan now to improve that position and find an opportunity to land some strikes or the strike that might put end to this. Yeah, both these guys are going to be tied at this point, Steve. And what Walsh is doing here is making Akpan carry his weight. Can hear both corners imploring their men, 30 seconds left. Yeah, Aaron Wilkinson not happy with the stalling there. Again goes for the takedown. Does Akpan with a beautiful sprawl again from Adam Walsh. We saw that exact same sequence almost in the second round. Final 10 seconds here. I think Adam Walsh is arguably on, a way, on his way to win number six. Very nice. That was a great fight, Steve. That's exactly what we expected from these two guys. You know, we talked about it earlier on, uh, about a year out of the cage for Manny Akpan. Could very well have been a, a different fight entirely if, if he was perhaps on a bit of a run, on a bit of a, you know, a streak in there. And I'm sure next time we see this young man, we're going to see something special again. He's clearly got the technique. He's got the skills. He's got the power. But on this occasion, Adam Walsh, for my money, just that one step ahead. Yeah, I, I just think a smart game plan against a ga dangerous striker. Back him to the cage, clinch, takedown. But he had his success on his feet as well. Absolutely, landed some good shots on the feet. Great defensive work as well. We saw a few very big takedown attempts from Akpan. Very explosive, powerful, wild takedowns. He was able to pop those hips out, get his hips to the floor, sprawl, use the underhook and stand up. Great work from Adam Walsh. For your winner in the blue corner, Adam Walsh. And give it up for Manny at Penn. For your winner, Adam Walsh. Well done. Now, one of our judges at least seeing something we didn't there, Steve. Per perhaps, depending on where you were, sat around. You know, we're not judging the fight, we're calling it. It's a very different experience. Absolutely. And, you know, so, something a lot of fans uh, at home probably don't realize. That, you know, when you're sat in that judging chair, it's a very, very unique experience. And hey, sometimes they do see things we don't. We've been wrong before, I'm sure we'll be wrong again.